And there were two chests for the nitrate, remember? Mm hmm. And the first one, the first reagent we added was. What was the first reagent we added for nitrate? I don't B? remember. Huh? B? Didn't we add some? Yeah, it was reagent A and B. But I think it was. Well, okay. there were two steps, remember? The nitrate had two That's steps. That's why we had to add the. I, the, the zinc. I, the zinc. 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 Oh, and the HCl, wasn't it? The hydrochloric acid powder? But first, you added like that. powdered zinc. Powdered zinc, and then the hydrochloric acid, and then. We got to. But the results are opposite. Right. If it didn't turn, right. turn red the first time. Right. If it turns red the first time. You stop there. Correct. And, and it turns red the second time, then it's the opposite result. The results are opposite. It was weird. Okay, so this is what? It's a positive? They're both, yes. This one's positive? It says slide boxes on the drawer. And this says negative red. You'll have to look that one up. Yeah, we'll have to look it up. And this is then... The control. The starts control out starts out clear. Okay. Litmus milk. This one's fun. The control. It's blue. Okay. Now. Oh, my goodness. Alkaline is truly blue. The other one's a purple blue. Mm -hmm. That one's more like a reduction, which we don't really need to know. Okay. We only have to know alkaline acid or complete digestion. This should be, well, if it was completely like this, it, or the tea colored is complete digestion. Okay. And that's like a dark purple. And the pink is the acid. And we don't need an acid plot. We need it out pink for acid, blue for alkaline, and tea colored for complete digestion. Tea okay. colored? Yeah, like a brownish, like tea. It's um, almost like brownish black. Yeah, we don't really have one. It's like that, but a little more brown. It's just so it's old. Yeah, yeah, that one's old. Otherwise, they look like tea. Okay. All right. Then we've got the starch plate. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna email you. So don't stress. What did you put in the starch plate after you grew it? Iodine. Correct. And what is the point of that? To see if there's a breakdown of amylose. Because iodine will be absorbed by the iodine will DNA. No, this is not. This is, has to do with amylose, not DNA. Amylose. Amylase. Amylase. Amylase and amylose. Yes. Okay. So when it has a clearing like that, that means it's positive and it has the enzyme that it, it has amylase, which can break down amylose of starch. Okay. And this one it was obviously... This one's positive, too. It's just a different one, look. Oh, okay. Around that one. Oh, that's a good picture. So this one's positive? They're both positive, actually, but that one's positive on that side. That one's positive on this side. They're just two different samples. Okay, so and then it obviously has a clearing. It has positive. a clearing. It's positive. And then obviously the other organism is negative because there's nothing. Correct. Except for the, just the streak. Correct. Okay. Then the DNA split. It's the same thing, um... Now, the DNA plate, you put hydrochloric acid on it after it's grown. You flood it. And then same thing, you'll have a clearing around the one that's positive, but not around the one that's negative. And this one's a little hard to... Whoa. Wow. You either cleared a lot or didn't clear nothing. <laughs> well, this one says that's positive, but I don't see any... It's hard to see a clearing around that anywhere. Do you see it? Let me see it from the back. Maybe it had one before. Yeah, and maybe it's just But if it clears, clearing. it's positive. Okay. Basically, most of these plates, if it clears, it's positive. This one, that one, that one. Casein. Test. Casein, if it clears, it's positive for casein. Who am I? Casease. To okay, break so down casein. Okay, so they might casein. give us a chart and tell us these, here are the different tests. Yeah, I'm And here. what am I? With so an you unknown have to, table. Right, you have to know what these results mean. So that's a KA result. I know that because mine had one. This is a TSI auger? TSI, TSI auger. auger. That is just a slant. A that citrate is citrate negative. negative. Correct. That is lit... Mm, wait, lactose. wait, wait. Lactose positive for, for acid, acid and carbon gas. Carbon dioxide gas. That is glucose positive for acid, positive for gas. And then that is, what the hell is that? That's, That's question, the Sims. How are you supposed Remember to the know? Sims has three. S is sulfide, which is black. There's no sulfide. 
I is indole. indole. So it's indole positive for, for indole, indole production it's because it's red. M is motility. And motility, it's positive for motility too because there's no. If you don't see the line, no it's lines. positive. So it's positive for motility too. So we would have to figure out what organism that was using the little chart. I have a feeling. I have a feeling as well. Okay. Same and this thing. is that crappy. Wow. Tube? Oh no, these are the citrates. Citrate, oh, that's a oh, no. citrate negative. That's a citrate negative, yeah. This litmus. is a litmus before, that's a control. It, pick up the control. Yeah, I think that's purple. a control. Yeah, that's a litmus control. Okay. okay. What was your feeling about the uh, motility? These are. Those okay. look like controls. That's a gelatin. That's gelatinase negative. negative. This is gelatinase, gelatinase positive. positive. Liquid is positive. This and is that's TSI, auger, positive for hydrogen sulfide and uh, yellow is acid. Acid, acid. Acid, acid, yes. Okay. And then we have this entero tube, and then we would have to be able to interpret the results for both. To add up the numbers. Add up the numbers and get the correct. Um, I need a organism. little extra time on that. I know, I was doing the same thing. <laughs> Can we get a double time on that one? Let's take a look at this. Oh, she's got a bunch of stuff set up over there, too. Well, look, they actually show how they have the bubble. Of course, not taking the picture. What's the point of the soil plates, do you think? Is it to identify the different types of colonies? Probably, or at least know what's going to grow on what type of agar, because there's glycerol yeast, there's, I think there's a few do different agars.